Hello guys, this is Mark from Presto and welcome back to this new video on how to get an animated background on Windows 6, Windows 7 64-bit. Alright, let's get started. Now, just before we get started actually, um, there are a couple of glitches with this. It's Stream Scene and, um, well, the icons, the text that come, that you have with it turns black and invisible. So, yeah, just a warning, and it's not very easy to get rid of. All right, let's get straight to it, but I will be doing a tutorial on that. And, all right, so first of all, you're going to download a file called Windows Stream Scenes for Windows 7 64-bit, and you're going to want to extract that. I've already extracted it, and then you'll get all of these files. Now go to important, important readme and then it tells you to drop um, to copy the um, dreamscene.dll into the um, well, C drive, Windows and then System32 then paste it in there and the dreamscene.dll.mui goes into the subfolder of where you're going to paste that in ENUS so and then you have to run the registration file which is the DCM one alright so you're going to want to copy the dream scene DLL go to your computer C drive Windows scroll down to system 32 and then paste it in there and then copy the dream scene dot dll.mui and then put, go to the enus folder and paste it in there. Now that you've done with pasting those in, you're going to want to run the dscene registration file. I've already ran it and um, anyway, it will um, say would you like to do this, that, this, just go yes and yeah contact me if you have any issues with that and I've also uploaded well not uploaded sorry ah oh, yeah uploaded there should be a link in the description for these downloads um, a waterfall thing which is what I have fantastic and yes this dream scene does make your computer laggy but mine's fine um, but you just go to um, res restart your computer and then to activate all of this stuff and then you go set as desktop background and yeah you have one pretty sweet background right there will be a with Windows 32 bit tutorial and how to uninstall it so I'll see you later 